I see Frostbite Orc Orkings. Uh, Frostbite Orkings. Uh, it's completely AI Orc Metal Band. No. These Raid Shadow Legends <laughs> ads be looking weird. Uh, it's complete AI. The AI wasn't trained on actual songs with musicians that came in and taught the computer music theory. Huh, I'm interested in hearing the seeing the behind the scenes on this. There's too much stuff here that is clearly not AI generated. Like the graphics are not AI generated. The music is not AI generated. I could tell you the notes are probably AI generated, yes. But the music itself is not AI generated. Like it like the sound, the sonic element that you hear is not AI generated, but the notes could definitely be. And I know this because I I I I have an AI gener music generator on my PC. It does not get that good. So the AI metal band is back. About a month or two ago, I did a video on the channel about the, the world's first original AI metal band. Other people refuse to believe it's AI. There's like, no way. This is humans that made music and they're saying it's AI to get attention. I, I think if people found that out, that people get in trouble for that. If they pitch themselves as a band that's all AI <clears throat> and they sell something, then maybe like that could get him in trouble. I mean, this is just another YouTuber, okay? So he's probably just making this shit up himself. According to Wikipedia, Stefan Schmidt, that's the person who's one of the project managers or project leads for Metalverse. Hey, let's talk about Metalverse, Frostbite Order, AI music. This is an episode yet. Excited to see what. Oh man, this guy. Wow. Let me hear that again. I, as a consumer of metal music and a musician myself, am excited to see what you guys do and how you push the boundaries. Because I think you guys have genius technology going on and, and very genius big picture ideas. I do want to dig into this a bit more. Like I said, AI music generation is not there yet. If they are generating maybe a guitar sound, like a riff, maybe, but those riffs sounded pretty clean. And then the drums and all that stuff, like there's just no way. Right now, AI, AI music's brain is just too fucking space cadet to put together a cohesive elements between drums and a bass and a guitar. And then you got to layer vocals over the top. You know, it's just, it's there, it's just too all over the place to get it to work together to make something like that. So <clears throat> I have serious doubts at the, to the degree at which this thing is AI. Oh, they're just, they're sh just shilling NFTs. Middle verse NFTs, boy, people are still doing this, huh? See numbers, they made 10 sales. They moved about one ETH. Total, it looks like, combined with all their sales they made. Apparently, they taught the AI using actual musicians and not harvested. No copyright related materials. <sighs> okay, I, 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 okay. <laughs> I need to see paperwork on this because if I train an AI using a hundred guitar samples, it would still struggle to put together a cohesive riff like with any kind of chord changes or key changes or anything, because even though I've given it like a hundred different samples, it still doesn't have enough to fill in the gaps to make up the rest, which is why you always have like a starting checkpoint wad. Basically, it's kind of like here is millions of samples of music that we fed this thing. You can tune it. You can take your music, your little sprinkle of salt, and just season one little area of it. So that way it kind of absorbs and maintains a style that you have trained it with. But you are still basing it off of who knows how many countless samples that it was trained on initially just to get it to the point to where it understands basic music theory. We're talking a lot of time and a lot of hours and a lot of samples. This is just not just a band. I mean, as we're digging, it's like, it's not a band anymore. Now it's a business and their business is selling NFTs. I'm curious, like if he, if he explicitly states that they have trained an AI that will actually render, generate and render out songs, even pieces of songs. Cause these songs are too good, too good. The videos are absolutely not AI generated. These these videos, like these are just really good 3D renders. Like somebody is really good at this. This was made four months ago, okay? Four months ago is like 10 lifetimes in AI time, right? Nothing that you are seeing right now 
is AI generated unless it's on a texture level or a backdrop or something that's being panned around in another piece of software like 3ds max or something like that right or or you or unreal engine was it directed by AI like did somebody say you know I want to make a music video you have five camera positions yes it could print you out a list of timestamps and kind of like a director's list of like getting different shots right I get this shot I get this shot yes it could definitely do that did it do these shots no, it did not. Musically, when we listen to this, the guitars are like crisp and chunky. The drums have punch. There's so much fidelity to everything, so much dynamics to everything. Everything sounds really good. AI music generation is not that. AI music generation is very sloshy sounding, does not have this level of clarity. That tells me the music part is not generated by AI. To me, somebody recorded this, but boy, they're really, they're really trying to make you think that this whole thing is like an AI band. What is in their link tree here? No OnlyFans? Is there TikTok any deeper than this? No, it's the same thing. They've done a pretty good job of, of keeping a lot of information not surfaced. And that also makes me a little bit skeptical. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately though, yeah, I can't, I can't buy it. <laughs> they train the algorithm, it blows my mind that everything we're hearing is made by AI. Fuck. Let me just say before we go into this here, before I start going through my timestamps, the this gentleman who's doing the interviewing, uh, he's just he's just a fan, right? He's a metalhead. He's a fan. He does not follow the technology, right? Especially especially since this is three months old, April fifth, twenty twenty three. Like, I can't really expect somebody who is not at all in that realm to understand what questions to ask and all that. And the person on the right is Stefan and he does nothing to necessarily like, well, like, whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Like, we're not quite there yet, you know? Everything you hear is learned and trained by team members. No copyright related material from anybody else, but from uh, Metalverse team members. If I count ev everybody who's uh, had some input into uh, just that first band, yeah. uh, we'd be somewhere between 10 and 20 people. On the software development side, it's uh, around five or six people that actually contribute to something that we call the machine and <laughs> which composes the songs, actually, yeah. Okay, no, that's... I, I don't... <laughs> they say that they're not using any source material outside the stuff that they record. And my initial inclination on that is probably bullshit. But maybe possible that they've recorded enough content to create a synth that emulates that sound. Okay, let's just give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they're recording a lot of their own samples. And then I listen to the song and I'm like, these are not, <laughs> this is not AI generated synth. Like this is like somebody playing the guitar <laughs> layer upon layer uh, to get that sound. He goes to talk about like how people shouldn't necessarily worry about how a song is made. And I almost felt like it was his way of kind of staving off too deep of questions. But the guy on the left, he doesn't know what is too deep of a question and what's not because he's not in this industry. And so he's, he just keeps on asking shit. Kudos to the interviewer. He didn't know any better, but he did it right and trying to get some information out of this guy. I think it's important to, to point out that it's perhaps just like a new tool for creativity like drum computers or like chord progression generators which are already part of every daw yeah i mean this is just an additional tool i agree it's another tool that you can use but i also feel like he's playing down the contributions uh that his team is doing to make the music in order to still kind of keep ai as kind of like this mis mysterious entity that is just a tool that we use to make this work got a load of those ai vsts that don't exist yet it definitely didn't exist three months ago that's with which patterns in the bass drum uh, should be in one part and then perhaps doubled by rhythm guitar and bass so like the interplay of musicians <laughs> in a real band and train our models with content for that specific layer. It's not that we just throw a word at the machine and then the machine would harvest the mm. internet for, I don't know, melodic death metal or something like that. How long did that process take to get all of those resources to input to start to get final songs? This At this point now, the interviewer is convinced that, and it's not his fault. Again, it's the guy, it's Stefan. Stefan is the one that's telling him 
that there is, or not necessarily telling him, but he's allowing the interviewer to create this environment of all of these variables that we could put in place. And then we hit a print button and it will just make a song. And so in the interviewer's mind, we're really close to just printing music and the, and Stefan is telling him, yeah, it's just, you know, we got all these variables and stuff like that. We got to put together. So, you know, and then if we want to switch it out, all we got to do is just, you know, change this variable and that variable and all these other variables. I press the button on the machine. It will instantly write me like, new songs with lyrics and parts and everything is, is totally fine. But there's still like an auditing from us, uh, like, mm. oh, this is a great verse. This is a great chorus. Let's combine them. Auditing. One thing that Stefan mentions often is that the team does have a role and, a, and the, some of the team members have their own specialization in auditing and checking to make sure things make sense, to adjusting things to make sure it makes sense. And so we're not, he's not speaking to how much of a contribution it is, but I can tell you from experience that it makes sense that you go to chat GPT or any other LLM and you just say, write me a full song, give me a hook and all that shit too. And it'll print out the chorus. It'll give you guitar tabs, no problem. Getting that chunk and then auditing that part and changing it like it's not i mean getting the inspiration from the ai stuff it's like that is way different than the way that it is presented right the machine so this next part he talks about sampling okay he talks about like recording stuff and using it and just listen to the way that he words this okay those are also completely produced by us so every drum hit that you hear was once sampled in a high class studio with the best equipment you can so, so those and aren't previously used samples those aren't nope. plug like you guys are doing that all in house yep. that's yep. fucking impressive so the way he describes it is basically like they went to a recording studio and they recorded some stuff yes maybe they recorded drum samples snare 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 right and then they later synthesized it in a sampler where you hit a button and it's all like snare 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 but that's just recording and sampling that's not feeding an AI to crunch the numbers and to learn what the style is and to generate a riff based off of that data. You feel a little sorry for the interviewer? Yeah, that's why I preface this whole thing. Not this guy's fault. This is to somebody who doesn't know about this tech. This is the most exciting shit you've ever seen. They showed this video to everyone and they said, this is an AI band. And then, and then on the back end, they're like, also, we have these NFTs, please buy. If you have a really great mastering engineer and he puts a little bit of compression to it, so it's not like a different right. thing, but to reach that level, uh, currently we are still mi mixing by hand. Mixing by hand. There are, the sounds are audited, all original sounds. It really sounds like they recorded it. <laughs> the most exciting part and also the most difficult part is vocals. I mean, it's helpful that the frontman of the Orkings is not a really like great singer with a great <laughs> variety of uh, like he's just growling so it was right. like easy to have him in that training camp let's call it that way mm -hmm. yeah so he just uh, recorded hours and hours of words syllables wow um, the machine knows how to arrange them take them put them together so, make them longer shorter. so he had to go like a e i or like non-stop go over or like words a no, that's and. basically it just these four vowels and then we're done no yeah yeah uh, exactly like this o only like for for days and weeks yeah wow he's basically describing 11 labs in a sense right like the a e i o u thing like he's joking with him on that right but at least i hope he is <laughs> he's just staring i know he's just staring let me say hey darnell can you go away for a second i'm busy here hold up there mike b darnell is always ready to entertain and keep the chat lively but if you need a quick break from my dazzling presence i'll let you have your moment in the spotlight just don't forget who the real star is <laughs> I like that he keeps on digging here because Stefan is just like, oh, yeah, well, you know, it's kind of like dancing around some of these things because he's super enthused about this product that doesn't really exist. So he's asking questions that are like good, like some of them are good because you keep on digging. And Stefan's just like, oh, yeah, you know, it's not If really. you guys to take this song and bring it up 10 dB or not 10 oh, dB, 10 go. BPM, like, is that a whole process or have you gotten it to the point where you've made the variables so distinct and tight variables. where you can change things like BPM in a song you've already generated easily. That's that's one click. And also if you want like uh, 
the chords in the chorus like the other way around it's just another click and the melodies will uh, will adjust and if you say it's what? too much syllables and please do lyrics only with like four syllables per line it's just another click so this is this is uh, the machine already is that far yeah oh, dude. i don't believe it we're talking about restructuring songs <laughs> entire songs just like do 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 there we go new song trust in the machine the machine is already there don't you believe in the machine well let me ask this first video because i don't want to skip out on the video because the video yeah. also was crazy how did you guys do the video <laughs> the correct answer here is that they had a studio or they worked on a 3d outsourced it or something like that they had a music video made rendered like a cinematic in world of warcraft right yeah so not to disappoint you but i think we are like 50 percent on the path where the video is directly created out of the musical parameters Holy along the way fuck, dude. but on this on this video it was uh like a manual job just like mixing with 3d okay. artists who actually did it but that's on on the on the road right now that the machine composes something and you will see Falkvar and Alva, the guitar player, uh, just moving along to that. That. All right, we're living in 2050, man. This is we're in the future at this point. Okay, that's 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 mind blowing. <laughs> it's nonsense, right? Isn't it nonsense? And this poor guy, Nick, poor Nick, he just he just like fifty percent what do you say we're fifty percent of the way there we're almost the way there I mean watching this entire thing it's like it's pretty clear to me that they're not there they're not there they're not where they say they are uh in the or where they allude that they are right uh and then you could just print music and have your character sitting there like playing the music we're definitely not there yet dude like we have to put so much work into just making like fucking hot anime chicks fucking do a dance you know like there's so much work involved with that yeah runway ml gen 2 just released where you could take an image and it turns it into like a moving video but you can't control the video necessarily it just kind of makes it move a little bit based off of what it sees in the content it doesn't even do 50 percent of this okay not even close it's not even 10%. No, we're not even 10%. We're not even, no. <laughs> I got to look out for my boy, Nick, man. At the very least, Nick is savvy on how NFTs have kind of like uh, infested different industries. And he's, and even Nick is like, yeah, like gaming. And it's, it's like, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I know there's the whole NFT aspect of some things, right? Which is on, on, the, on the side of things. In this space, when we hear... <laughs> Here's our new crypto thing or NFT thing. Yeah. The next day you hear, you see on Twitter, the dude trending because, you know, whatever fucking scam or thing related to it. So if you can explain what the, what the NFT portion of the project does, what's the importance of it? The NFT aspect, we see it more like a user right. So it doesn't have to be NFT exclusively and it, it won't be. Mm -hmm. So there will be other uh, approaches to what what we talked before uh, for example log into a software where you can give feedback on <sighs> the creative decision for the next frostbite arcing single okay you can do that by yeah 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 you know uh <laughs> it's funny man i'm listening to this now it's my second time and it's like this guy who is part of this band somehow also no ends up knowing quite a lot about the infrastructure or the back or the or the uh overarching metalverse nft side of things and it's always the case right it's always the case where like the person involved in this part is also the one that's running this part and that's just fewer i mean there's fewer weak links in the in the chain if you are the whole chain if he was like you know what man like i'm just part of the band you know i work on the band stuff there are other people that do that stuff and you know, that's great, but I mean, he does go out and talk about like metal versus this, and this is what we want to do. This is the future vision for metal verse and all that stuff. It's like, wow, man, you sure know a lot about this thing that is supposed to be separate from the music making element. Like, it seems like it's, it's a little suspicious. <laughs> so overall, we have a machine and we have a lot of variables and eventually we'll be able to print music, but we're not quite there yet. All the hype around this being an AI band needs to be limited by quite a bit because we're not quite there yet. <laughs> As in, we are not there yet.
at all. So uh, I just went to the Twitter account. They do have three hours ago, the Metalverse AI reactions from all over the world to the Frostbite orcs coming in. So I'm curious what this one is. Let's see. It's great. It's awesome. You know, the bass, you know, the drum, they just rock. You know, it sounds awesome. You know, I got to tell you, this music is completely artificial intelligence. Really? <laughs> wow. Well. <laughs> I just did all this work and the dude just came out and said it. I just did all this work to like try to like draw draw a bunch of connecting dots to show you guys that this is probably bullshit. And the guy just comes out and says, yeah, it's all AI, which is 100% bullshit. Even the voice, everything is... Yeah, it sounds so clean, so perfect. Wow, man. Fucking lies. Good morning, Twitter. Dude, did I tell you this? I've told you guys this before. Anybody, any Twitter account that puts good morning posts up should automatically be flagged. It's not AI. Like, however, however much contribution AI is doing to the this band is not enough for them to say <laughs> it's all AI. Uh, design contest. Where are we going with this one? Spatial.io, Marvel Design, or sorry, Metal vs. Design Contest, Contest Gallery, Explorer. Okay, whoa, whoa, what is this? Uh, continue. What the? F oh my gosh! Wow, it just goes right into right into their their metalverse setup. So you could you could hang your NFTs over here if you want. You could look at any other people's NFTs. What does this say? We are a team of musicians. Oh, welcome to the metalverse. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the TLDR so far in these crypto bros? 